Daniel here and today I want to do a video about what Minecraft Realms is and like what it does. So when you purchase Minecraft you get free things you can do and then you've got quick game and options. So you've got single player and single player is just a world where you're in single player. You can only play by yourself. You can also have cheats on it. You can do any game mode you want. So I've got some world here. I don't really play that often. I normally play with my friends or just do stuff in my realms. So we've got multiplayer. And here it's required a server. You don't need to have your own server, but you can have... You can like go to different servers, let's say mini game servers. So we've got this server that I've got that I don't use a lot too, but yeah. And that's not private. And this server is a local server, as you can see here, local host. And then we've got no server resource packs. But sometimes when you're in servers, they'll ask you to have a resource pack or you can say no and it probably won't work on the servers. So we've got My World that I pay a subscription for and we've got My Friends World. And so we've on this menu screen, as we can see right now, we can click on the things and I'll say play and back. We can click on here on my friends and it will say play and back, same thing. But if you press on nothing, then it says nothing. You can leave realms and it says if it's an open realm, you can go into configure realm and leave realm will make you so you go out of the realm and then your friends will need to invite you again. So. So you invite people to your realm or they invite you to their realm. So it's no strangers that you're really playing with. It's max 10 players. That isn't great if you want to play a game with like 100 people. That won't work in realms. But we've got the invites here. I've got none. But when you do have an invite, it's got like this exclamation mark on there on here and then this is just like a description about realms minecraft realms we've got configure realm if it's your realm you can do that then we've got players this will say all the players that go in my realm and if they're an operator or a normal user you can go play activity and mostly i've been playing with my friends on stuff like mini games and you can also invite players there you do in their using you put in their username we've got settings that just does the names so we've got free worlds you can reset the world so they can be upload worlds so just upload your single play worlds new worlds you just create new worlds and then we've got adventure maps We've got some adventure maps in here. There's one you really need to check out. Tre Trera Swoop Force. It's awesome. From Nox Crew. And they've got other stuff like Don't Go Insane. We Are The Rangers. And they're very good maps. We've got Survival Spawns. And that's just spawns that people have, like, builders have made. And I've got two new ones today, so it's pretty weird. But, yeah, we've got all of the things, so you won't lose adventure maps or get them again because every time the version changes, like a major update, then it will also change the maps, the adventure maps and the mini games. Then we've got all these mini games here. Let me go through them slowly. So we've got like stuff like Maker Spleef, Z Game, Sunburn, uh, K 
Carrot Catcher, Entrapment, Labyrinth, Team T Run, and stuff like that. So, these mini games are very good because they're for free. Well, within the realm subscription, so you need to pay for the realm. But everything else with the realm is for free. So, like, you don't need to pay for mini games, you don't need to do anything like that. So, you've got everything here, all the mini games, and we've got world backups that will just show what you've done in the past. So, uh, let's say 58 days ago, I, okay, backup 32 days ago, the changes were well. Type normal game difficulty easy. Then let's say three days ago, event world type adventure map template the adventure map. So then this will say like you can restore stuff and the, that won't quite be good if you don't want to. You can download latest backups, but yeah. That will just get you adventure maps and stuff like that. Okay, at the moment I'm on an adventure map. You can change the world name itself here, so how it comes up here. And what mode it is, the difficulty, spawn protection, force game mode. I recommend putting that on if you want everything to go, like, to force the game to do it straight away. And we got spawn, little, little, little bit of everything on there. Then, but when you're in somebody else's realm, you can't change it. But if you are a operator, you can do commands, and you can have command blocks if command blocks is on the realm. How do you contact people in the game? Well, as you can see here, I'll go into the realm. Just type in something. So you use your, then you use, what you do is you press T. And then this bar will come up on the bottom, as you can see here. And you'll be able to use your mouse. So now I could write something like, I don't know, hey, or what? Whoops, that is how you do commands, you just press slash, that happens, sorry about that, but I just wrote in a hopeless command, so yeah, and you can view all of the chat by pressing T, how you open the chat, and if you want to make this be easier, I normally call my friends using Skype. And that's a very good method how to do it. So we keep the call on in the background. We don't necessarily have the camera in the corner or anything, the face cam, the webcam, whatever you call it. But we do have the sound. So that is what Minecraft Realms is. And that is my tutorial for today. Please subscribe.